and translation is the Divine Grace is the Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shiva Prabhupada text number 24 Tatom Nishkram Yalam Kaya Yatathan Yaksaha Prasaha Mando Darya Samam Tatra Prarus Dasya Upadravam Thereafter all the women whose husbands have fallen in a battlefield headed by Mandodari, the wife of Rama, came out of Lanka, continuously crying, they approached the dead bodies of Ravana and the other Rakshasa. 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 Uh, text number 25. Vansam Bantum Parishvajra Lakshmane Subir Arditam Ruru do Saswata Rambina Kanya Atmana Atmana Striking their breasts in affliction because their husbands had been killed by the arrows of Lakshmana, the woman embraced their respective husbands and cried piteously in voices appealing to everyone. Text number 26. Хаха так смава яннаха, лоха равана равана, камня ячча нам ланка, ват вихина парархита. Translation. О, oh, oh my Lord, о oh Master, you are the most troubled for, every, for, for others, and therefore you were called Ravana. But now that you have been defeated, we also are defeated. For without you, the state of Lanka has been conquered by the enemy. To whom will it call for, for shelter? Pupata Shiva Prabhupada. Ramana's wife Mandodari and the other wife knew very well how cruel a person Ravana was. The very word Ravana means one who causes crying for others. Ravana continuously uh, caused trouble for others, but when his simple activities culminated in giving trouble to Sita Devi, he was killed by Lord Ramachandra. And now we start to uh, read text number 27, which actually only both is everything can see, yeah? It is visible. <coughs> na na vai vai veda veda maha 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 bhaga bhaga na vai veda maha bhaga na vai veda maha bhaga kavan kavan kama kama vasham vasham gata gata Bhavan Kama Visham Gata Bhavan Kama Visham Gata Tejo Tejo 
Now, because of her curse, you have been reduced to this state, having been killed by Lord Ramachandra. 
Not only was Mother Sita powerful, but any, any woman who follows in the footsteps of Mother Sita can also become similarly powerful. There are many instances in this, in, of this in the history of Vedic literature. Whenever we find the description of ideal chaste women, Mother Sita is among them. Mandodri, the wife of Ravana, was also very chaste. Similarly, Draupadi was one of the five exalted chaste women. As men, uh, as a man must follow great personalities like Brahma and Narada, a woman must follow the path of the such ideal women as Sita, Mandodari and Draupadi. By staying chaste and faithful to her husband, a woman, and reach herself with supernatural power, it is moral principles that uh, one should not be influenced by lusty desires for another's wife. Matrivat Paradarishu, an intelligent person, must look upon another wife, another's wife, as a being like his mother. This is a moral injunction from Chanakya Shloka number 10. Matrivat Paradarishu, Paradavyeshu, Lastravat, Atmavat Sarva Bhuteshu, Yahpashyati Sa Panditaha. One who considered Anava's wife as his mother, Anava's possession, possessions uh, as a lump of dirt, and treats all others living beings as he would himself, is considered to be learned. Thus Ravana was condemned not only by Lord Ramachandra, but even by his own wife, Mandodari. Because she was a chaste woman, she knew the power of the another chaste woman, especially such a wife, uh, as such a wife as Mother Sita Devi. Navaivida Mahabhaga Bhavam Kama Visham Gataha Tejo Nubhavam Sitaya Yena Nito Dashamimam O greatly fortunate one! You came under the influence of lusty desires, and therefore you couldn't understand the influence of, the, of Mother Sita. Now, because of her curse, you have been reduced to this state, having been killed by Lord Ramachandra. Omagyana Timirandasya Gyananjanan Shalakaya Chakshuro Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Maga Shri Chaitanya Manokishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Svayam Rupa Padamakya Tadati Sva Padantikam Vandekam Shri Guru Shri Uda Pada Kamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadotam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Vitamsha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dino Pandu Jagatpate Gopisha Gopi Akanta Radha Kanta Namostate Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radha Vrinda Vaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vantya Kapa Tarubhyasya Kripa Sindhubhya Evacha Patitana Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaka Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Vadadhara Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Namo Mishnu Padaya, Krishna Prishthaya Bhutare, Shimati Bhakti Vidanta Swami Nitinamine, 
नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवानी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यादेशतारिणे Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Uh, when I quote this text one or two days ago, uh, and I read it attentively, I read it attentively, and after that I was feel some emptiness. Uh, I don't know what to say. I, it was, I, I thought maybe I will sing half an hour kirtan and then... And then <laughs> and then uh, all of the text, and I don't need to say nothing. And I share with my feeling with Madhavendra Puri Prabhu. I, I feel this emptiness. I don't know how it's actually this text related to my devotional practice. How it's, it's some kind of instruction of how to be a chaste woman, and uh, how it's, yeah. I was connected with um, spiritual life, especially this uh, uh, Ramayana, not, not for, in, for instance, Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, or in, I mean, it's Srimad Bhagavatam, but I mean, uh, not Krishna's pastimes or our other pastimes. This is our, I'm talking about myself, this conditioned state. And he says, don't worry, soon uh, some, some inspiration will come. Then comes some inspiration, and, and was thousand ideas and now I don't know which one is ch check, uh, choose the uh, one thousand one or first one or and so I uh, still in this uh, a little bit bewildered uh, condition but uh, it's very important not to spoil this last, last uh, half an hour and uh, uh, let's say uh, this particular text and actually this chapter at at home, I'm reading every day now exactly this line came up. And, uh, and now it's this text from a uh, particular uh, hill of uh, and I, I counted how many pages. This is nine, 90 pages in Srimad Bhagavatam. Description, three, I think three or four chapters. I think three chapters. Uh, uh, just just uh, 90 pages, whole, whole Ramayana, let's say. Yeah? The Shema Bhagavatam consists of the uh, 18,000 18, verses, is correct? Yeah, 18,000. Yes. 18, and Ramayana, 24,000. And I, okay, what, what, um, what can I say this? And I, I remember this lecture of my Guru Maharaj, he's calling it the Ganga Swami Maharaj. He also translated one of the uh, lectures about Ramayana of <coughs> He's called Mr. Khanat Swami. Uh, I twice listened this uh, at that time when I read him. Uh, not now, but uh, in English and then uh, translation of Guru Maharaj. And uh, his, uh, I have listened also his lecture when he mentioned that, on, that what the, actually Ramayana is all about. This is one example of how it's difficult to deal with women. How a difficult life for uh, even uh, for such exalted uh, person. Uh, probably it's not proper to say exalted. The Lord Himself, Ramachandra. How many suffering caused this relationship? It's from outside. This uh, this also uh, uh, explanation, particular in this verse, uh, how is powerful chaste woman, how is uh, by her curse. Uh, uh, everything can be destroyed. So, uh, and what else? Uh, what, what I thought, what, uh, what else shall I? Okay, this uh, Ramayana is description of the ideal king. Yeah, I, ideal king, and um, yeah, and um, sim, uh, an example of the devotion. Yeah, devotion of the Lakshman, Hanuman, um, Mother Sita, other devotees. Um, Vipishana and others. And mm -hmm. this devotion, uh, uh, this devotion uh, exhibited is an internal desire or motivation of the, of the devotees. Like when Hanuman came to Lanka, he 
he was practically speaking brahmachari yeah, he uh, but he gets to the, this uh, palace of the ravana as a monkey and he check every he looking for every where the only idea only desire i where is sita i is this myself i hurt by any cause i i I have by any cause to find the Sita. This is my my goal and this is and he look on the some of mm, mm, woman uh, women who was in uh, area where is Ravana uh, uh, enjoyed the his uh, lusty desires and uh, uh, she, just in case even check there. Uh, then he saw some of very chaste woman lying on the bed. It was Mandogari, then he didn't find Sita. Then he went to the Ashoka garden, yeah? uh, and he still wants to, to find where is, where is Sita. He cannot find. And he saw the situation when uh, it was last day, when um, which uh, Ravana gave to Sita to choose finally him as a hair husband and uh, uh, this was happening a little bit before we, which we read today uh, and um, and here's a situation uh, like a small monkey looking for what's going on and uh, uh, Aravana came approached Sita and told today you have to make decision otherwise he expressed his unalloyed love towards Sita, otherwise I will eat you, Rakshas. And he says to the uh, servants of uh, Sita, so-called servants, uh, they say, they say, who is in prison, how to we call, call them servants, Rakshashi, uh, under, uh, other Rakshasi, says, if you not, mm, how to say, mm, if you not, Guild, um, get this goal, her agreement, Sita's agreement to become my wife, I will do with all of you the same like I will deal with Sita. That means I eat you. And uh, at that time, uh, one old Rakshasi name, I specifically write on uh, Trijata Mataji. She uh, was very learned uh, and she, she, she can see uh, some future and, and the, exactly this very this uh, night she saw the mm, dream <coughs> in a dream like uh, Ravana, uh, Kumbhakarna and Nidrajit on uh, this uh, donkey yeah, traveling to the south and she says this is sign of their death. And if you want to survive, don't don't press any more any for Sita, nothing, nothing has to be <laughs> done. Yeah, and it will be the best uh, for all of us and for you. So like yesterday, uh Shantatna Prabhu says, even even uh, um, demons like Shasas, they've got followers, they've got certain rules, like like tips, how they say, let's steal something and share equally. Yeah, we are chased to uh, tips. Yeah, <laughs> very cheap. In, in um, you, you know this Prabhu Giraj Prabhu, yeah, uh, yes. who is from Ukraine. This is uh, the uh, the the most criminal town in former Soviet Union. Is exactly town from his uh, Odessa. Yeah, and then also some special rules of go to the tips. If they steal, uh, uh, so they take money, they take jewelry, but if they are documents, they bring on the same <laughs> bazaar or uh, yeah, to live on, on a place that person can find their passport, because it may be more difficult. So it, it gives somehow respect to them, yeah? They, they maybe can kill you, but passport they will bring back <laughs> if you give them away. It's, uh, so, and uh, in Bhagavad Gita, uh, I think, uh, for, for chapter 8, verse Paritranaya Sadhanam 
Vinašaya Chadushkirtan, Karma Samstapa Rathaya, Sambhava Vijuye Yuge. This confirmation was just happening with uh, uh, Krishna says, I will come, yeah? as direct translation, as is, to deliver the pious and to annihilate the miscreants, I appear in this world millennium after millennium. So he, he came as a Lord Ramachandra to save uh, all of the citizens of Ayodhya, to uh, deal with uh, Rakshas on his own way and uh, to deliver. And uh, still I think uh, how it's um, actually related to, to, um, to my spiritual life and to spiritual life of, of other devotees. And uh, uh, I have had, um, it was in Minsk, I have had lecture of Niranjana Swami. The first, um, I joined in 1991, and first three years, that the word Maharaj for me means Snirajana Swami, because only he was in church, Ukraine, in Belarus, and uh, some of part of Russia, which is on the West Russia. Uh, at that time, actually, it was Soviet Union, yes. Yeah, yes, it was. And he described how he talked with Srila Prabhupada in, uh, when he was in Boston, and Srila Prabhupada, he asked him, Dear Srila Prabhupada, I saw much like this movement. I like the Parsanam. I like uh, the scriptures, our philosophy. I like Harinam. I like book distribution. He started from this fair, very first day. We put him to the, the petrol station to, to distribute. So, uh, and, but I'm so ignorant. I'm so low person from low class. So how can I how can I get to the uh, real Krishna consciousness with such a state? And Srila Prabhupada answered to him, he says, Do you think that power of your ignorance more powerful than mercy of Lord Chaitanya? <laughs> he, he, this statement will make him uh, understand that everything depends from of course of our our desire, our uh, intensive desire to be with Krishna, not this uh, ritualistic. Sometimes devotees came to the Krishna consciousness and said, okay, uh -huh, seven times like that. Yeah. When is everyone bow down? I also hope to bow down. Uh, if garland will give me, I will make like that. And then uh, he socialized in a, in a, in a, move, in a, in a society <laughs> and said, I'm okay. Yeah, uh, 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 sometimes I have to write recommendation for initiation and I see how somebody wants to, by any cost, get this recommendation. I said, don't worry, you, you will get it when you finish it, your bhakti program. Yeah, but you have to finish it. No, no, I, Maharaj will be in November in, um, in, in India, I have to get there. But, but you finish it in January, Why you, you will get initiation on, on, on February, for instance. No, no, by any cost. So this is, looks like the uh, ultimate goal of the spiritual life to get initiation and then um, take rest, as, as, um, go to the pension yeah, from, from, from the activity. And it is, it, is, it is so sometimes. Very active devotees, they've got initiation. Come on, I already did a lot for Krishna. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, this misunderstanding that it is just beginning of our service, maybe some little bit like one of them, uh, uh, the devotees says, we have to clean for them their prana, <laughs> something like cleaning in the brains. And uh, when it's Srila Prabhupada, somebody uh, told him, you know, they write in the newspaper that it is uh, brainwashing. And Srila Prabhupada, yeah, he said, brain is dirty, we have to wash them. So this is, uh, he doesn't mind that it is exactly the statement. Yeah. And I thought, how is how is going down uh, the, the language and understanding? Uh, like if this, uh, for instance, in Russian language, 250 years ago was 49 letters. That means they need these letters to express certain things. You understand? 39, uh, 49. Now, since my childhood already, now is just 33. That means where is this sixth let even in even in 19th century uh, eight, eight, 12th century, last century let's say 
when I told last century, I think about 19th century, but last century is the 20th century. So at the beginning, it was still uh, around around 40. Mm -hmm. This period, all this. That means uh, language become more simple, not able to express what actually really we've got. Uh, uh, also, my guru Maharaj says when he prepare lectures in English, and he write, uh, writes them, if, as soon as you use passive voice, after two or three times using passive voice, is something wrong with your grammar understanding. You, 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 are, you, are, you are not correct. Why? Because, uh, because it's also a tendency in the Kali Yuga that we become proud of something which we did. Kartritva. Uh, we did, I did, yeah, but, uh, but passive voice is more humble, yeah, job was done, yeah, I'm reported to the boss, job was done, I did it, I did it, yeah, uh, uh, this is different, yeah, this is like, so the passive voice will be go, uh, uh, if you have something wrong, uh, you can tell me, but, but, uh, but this goes a little bit, not, not, not the main rule, let's say, I mean, uh, and for using. Uh, and uh, for instance, uh, Sanskrit is so perfect language, I'm, I'm, I'm not, don't know Sanskrit, I cannot read, I cannot, just like we are doing, yeah, with transliteration, and, uh, but I have had that, for instance, for, for what, Lotus exists in 600 words. How many words we've got in Russian, in English, in French with Lotus? Just that means uh, this uh, it doesn't mean that there's a different sort of lotuses. No, they, they, uh, it, it depends in which context, in which details, so elaborated, so clear, explain what, uh, which kind of lotus. It's just like a picture, like 3D immediately, should appear it, who knows, it's completely how, how it looks, how, how it's in, in this, which connection is this. Yeah, and I, for instance, I can give you an example. Ah, yeah, I have water. Water also got about 80, uh, 80 different names in Sanskrit. Yeah, depends which kind of water, yeah, and which, uh, uh, in which situation. Which uh, elephant got uh, 200? What? Maybe I confused, maybe two, maybe three, maybe a lot of forgot. Yeah. But uh, six, 600 for lotus is also not, not so much amount. Yeah, and uh, like, like we, like we uh, you, yeah, I try to find, okay, I sometimes try to catch how, how it's pronounced. Uh, okay, which meaning uh, mm, of oh, this was very often, yeah? Uh, but why is translated indifferently? Or, or the same word which I know uh, they've written in a, in a, uh, in a language, uh, Sanskrit, completely different. And I try to find uh, that. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, and from Shokas, which I, which I already know, not to looking for uh, everywhere. And this uh, Shloka. From the seventh seven, uh, seven chapter of Bhagavad Gita, number uh, eight, Rasaham ab sum kante ya, pravasi pravasmi shashi surya yo, pranavah sarvadhi shu shabdakhe pavrishande shu. This ab sum, yeah, as just ab sum, ah, ab sum is water. But in verse already, uh, uh, which we know, Patram Pushpam Palam Toya, 9 chapter 26 verse, Toya is also water. Just, just to prove that I'm not lying here by saying that, that I'm uh, one, one, uh, 600 uh, words for, for lotus or 400 for, for flute, or uh, different kinds of flute also. And what I'm talking about? Yeah. I know now no. why yeah. I'm talking about this. That's why mm, mm, the cow's language uh, qualities or, or quality of language reduced, and our perception of included spiritual knowledge 
is uh, also will be reduced because of this. Uh, in some way in South um, America, some of people which is living very far from, in, maybe in Brazil, I don't know, maybe Argentina, they live somewhere very far from the towns, maybe on some hills or mountains, and they live in the group and they've got their own language. And in this particular group, they don't have word green. Just don't exist in, in their language. Very short alphabet, let's say. Not alphabet, but uh, dictionary. Yeah, they don't have... So, and how is influence? They, they do not see green. For him, everything blue. So they see blue car and green car. Oh, two blue cars, nice, nice, nice cars. Yeah, because how influence a language uh, on, a, on a consciousness. Uh, Maharaj was investigated why so many Russians speaking very easily take uh, take Krishna consciousness on external level. Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah, but not not about internal because it's, uh, and he says that because uh, first of all the structure of language little bit similar, little bit similar with Sanskrit. Some of words like. Uh, the numbers are not the same in Sanskrit. Yeah. Adin is Adi. Yeah. Do it. Dwa, do dwa, uh, dwa, uh, in, in, in Russian. Chatur, Chitiri in Russian. Some, many, many, some. I know one German. Asht is, uh, is eight. Yeah. This uh, example. John uh, Mashtami, Abhashtami, eight day of the, uh, eight day of the moon, uh, reduced or uh, increased. So, and, and he says, on external level, yeah, they very quickly accept it. But after that, maybe from this point, is they are fortunate. I mean, the Slavianish language. But uh, when they go to the practice, oh, yeah, yeah, this is already internal. This is by nature, you don't, like if you, somebody was born in India. So, Hare Krishna is ikman, Jai Radhi, Jai Radhi, Maharaj. <laughs> so, but but uh, what is uh, internal? Inter the, not, not so many. It could uh, could with Lord Chaitanya. He asked, please, please, uh, you have to spread. Shila uh, Prabhupada, when he visit India, he always uh, pressed this point that uh, how you have to. You know, so not so much time left, but I want to say that. Um, uh, uh, many things uh, we maybe at the beginning our uh, practice, uh, and I'm also one of the beginners, uh, uh, take easy and you think, like, you know, everything, everything clear. I know already everything. Yeah, okay, a little bit maybe I didn't read yet something. Um, Krishna Sandarpa, otherwise, uh, <laughs> uh, sometimes we, we can think like that. And, uh, it was a very interesting point when Shiva Prabhupada, uh, Prahladananda Swami, at that time he was Prahladananda, um, very young disciple of the, I think it was in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and confused all these two towns. All this. So even on the sum of Pano, uh, the, uh, when the symbol of the, this town, I don't know which one of these two, and the, and the, and the, and the he is in his sport shoes with um, distributed books. Because he was uh, everywhere, every day, and because very famous, and even the absolutely uh, uh, the artist, which is make something symbols of the this town, cannot miss Prahladananda. He 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 uh, draw it. Yeah, he, he like he distributed books in one of the corner of this, and he um, wrote letter to Shiva Prabhupada, and he put the fifty dollars um, and sent it to him. And his question was. Dear Srila Prabhupada, I understood everything in, in Krishna consciousness already. I understand. The only question which I written bit down, how to get from the Bhava stage to the Prama. And <laughs> Srila Prabhupada said, my dear Prabhupada, 50, 50 dollars which you put in the envelope, I didn't get. But when you will be ready to, to understand difference between Bhava and Prama, I will let you know. Yeah. And Maharaj by himself, so he didn't tell me yet. 
means what? Because his uh, his his humility, and I uh, I don't want to um, start new topic because uh, but but we have to be encouraged just by this fact which is uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mentioned in uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita when he says that. Uh, Nitya Sitka Krishna Prema Satya Kabunaya Shavana Vishudhachita Karaya Udaya. This is Madhya Lila 22nd chapter, verse 107. Uh, pure love for Krishna is eternally established in everyone's heart. It is not something to be gained from another sources. In heart purified by chanting and hearing, this love naturally abrogates. Yeah. If any questions, comments, and objections, then please. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Shiva Prabhupada Ki. Yeah. 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 Just a little one step with it. Yeah, please. Uh, so it won't come for all the cuts, it was written really interested. I just wanted to know where can we find all those different Translation for the same word in Sanskrit, or, or do you find the sources? I, I, I give uh, examples which I have had from the lecture about Sanskrit of my Guru Maharaj. Okay. Uh, he gave also some lectures in English, but not particular about this, but influenced language, uh, not on a consciousness. This example I he take from the lecture which he given very often given to in English. Okay. With strong Russian accent, but but very knowledgeable, uh, knowledgeable. Uh, I learned some words from his lectures because I listen to his lectures. Okay. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Shiva Prabhupada ki jai. Namaste Prabhu ki jai. Namaste Maharaj ki jai.